Cat6 and Cat7 are both types of Ethernet cable used to connect devices in a wired network. While they serve the same purpose, there are several key differences. In this video, we're going to look at what those differences are. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. Let's start with cable construction. Cat6 cables consist of four twisted pairs of copper wires. They also have a plastic piece in the center of the cable construction that separates the pairs. It is designed to keep the twisted pairs separate in order to increase performance by minimizing what is known as internal cross torque inside the cable. Cat7 cables are similar in design, but Cat7 goes a step further than Cat6 and adds individual shielding to further reduce interference and support higher frequencies. Now let's look at speed. Cat6 cables support data transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second, and Cat7 cables also support data transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. The difference here is the range at which they can transfer data at their max speed. Cat6 cables can transfer at the max speed of 10 gigabits per second up to a cable length of around 50 meters. Cat7 on the other hand can be up to 100 meters long when transmitting data at 10 gigabits per second. Now let's look at interference, also known as crosstalk. Cat6 cables are more susceptible to interference and crosstalk compared to Cat7 cables. This means that in high traffic or noisy environments, Cat6 may experience more signal degradation, potentially leading to a complete loss of signal. Finally, let's look at cost. Cat6 cables are generally less expensive than Cat7 cables due to their lower specifications and performance. However, Cat7 cables are likely to be overkill in a home setting and are usually used in an office or data center where there is likely to be high interference and extremely long cables are needed. For almost all home users, Cat6 is more than capable. Cat5 versus Cat6 is a much more useful comparison for most home users and I have left a link to my previous video comparing those two cable standards in the description. I have also left a link in the description to the Cat6 cable I use personally if you're looking to buy one. I will earn a small commission from this at no extra cost to you. Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.